in everyday language, when we say that something is falling, we mean that it's moving downward. But in scientific language, if we say something is in free fall, we simply mean that it's a projectile. In other words, the only significant vertical force on it is its weight. And so it is accelerating at an acceleration caused by that weight, which is always on Earth, g, 9,8 meters per second squared downward. Whether the object, the projectile, is moving upward or stationary at the top of its motion or moving downward, as long as weight is its only significant vertical force, it is falling. As long as it is accelerating at g, 9,8 meters per second squared, it is falling. So while it moves up, while it's at the top of its motion, while it moves down, all that time, while it's accelerating at g, it's falling. Now let's look at a ball being pushed up by the hand, leaving the thrower's hand, moving up and then moving down. First of all, while it's being pushed by the hand, it is not a projectile. It is not in free fall. Why not? Because there's another significant vertical force acting on it, the push of the hand. The push of the hand is stronger than the weight of the ball. And so there's a resultant force upward. And because of that resultant force upward, the hand is accelerating the ball upward. The ball is also moving upward. So because it's accelerating upward and moving upward, it gets faster and faster. Let's say this is the position of the ball and the hand the moment just before the ball leaves the hand. So remember that resultant force represents the combined effect of the push and the weight. Now the moment that the ball leaves the hand, the push stops. It's only now the weight vertically that's acting on this ball. In other words, the ball is now in free fall. So the resultant force on it now vertically is its weight. So its acceleration now is downward. It's still moving upward though, but it's accelerating downward. Why is it moving upward? Well, because the hand had given it a certain velocity and it still has that velocity. So it can't just suddenly lose that velocity. Let's say that in another way. The hand had given the ball some momentum and so it still has that momentum. It can't just lose that momentum instantly. Let's say that in another way. The hand had given the ball some energy and now it still has that energy, kinetic energy. It can't just disappear. It still has that energy. And so that enables it to continue moving upward even though the only force vertically on it is downward. In other words, even though it's accelerating downward. Now let's look at that motion. The free fall motion of this ball moving upward and then coming back down. So while it's moving upward, it's getting slower and slower until it stops at the top of its motion. Why does it get slower and slower during that part of the motion? Let's say this in different ways. One is, it's moving up while accelerating down that makes it slow. Put another way, it's losing the momentum that it used to have gradually. By the time it reaches the top of its motion, it's lost all its momentum. In other words, it stops. Said another way, its kinetic energy is being converted to gravitational potential energy. In other words, it's getting slower and slower as it gets higher and higher. By the time it reaches the top, it has no more kinetic energy. It's stopped and it's at its maximum height. In other words, it's got its most gravitational potential energy it's going to get. Even once it's stopped, it's still accelerating at g. It's still accelerating downwards at 9,8 meters per second squared. An object doesn't actually have to be moving to be able to be accelerating. But do notice this is only for an instant, only for a moment, a moment that lasts, we could say, no time at all. It's so short. Now the ball starts moving downward. While it moves downward, both its motion and so its velocity and its acceleration, g, are in the downward direction. 
Because both are in the same direction, the velocity increases. Put another way, the momentum increases. Put another way, the gravitational potential energy the ball had at the top is now converted into kinetic energy. So it gets faster and faster while getting lower and lower.